question 30 find the differential equation of all conics whose axis coincide with the axis of coordinates so since we are dealing with axis two axis uh, in conics we we have three such shapes which has two axes first one is a circle and another one is an ellipse and sorry for the figure another one is hyperbola so we have I know the shapes are a bit weird, but bear with me. Uh, so these are the three conic sections which have two axes, uh, and the equations when the uh, when these conic sections uh, uh, shapes have uh, their axis uh, when their axis coincide with the axis of coordinates, we can see that their center point will be the origin. This will be origin for the center the ellipse for this point this point this point and this point will be the origin so uh, equation equation becomes equation of these figures becomes x square plus y square equal to d square sorry radius square r square or x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 or x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 this is the this is the equation of these conic sections so if we observe we can write the general equation of these three as uh, the general form will be something like a x square plus b y square plus a constant equal to 0 so, uh, all three equations is of this form so this is our general equation so we can further uh, we can see we can further reduce this equation uh, by dividing uh, with constant c throughout so it becomes something like uh, if we divide uh, divide dividing by c we get uh, a by c uh, a by c x square plus b by c y square plus 1 equal to 0 so this these two terms can be further for simplicity we can write p x square plus q y square plus 1 equal to 0 so this is the equation required equation with two arbitrary constant so we can see that there are two arbitrary constants uh, that needs to be eliminated to get the differential uh, to to uh, get differential equation we can eliminate these two arbitrary constants by differentiating so we we doing d by dx on one we get sorry on two two we get 2px plus 2qy y dash plus 0 equal to 0 so uh, cancelling out 2 and simplifying we can we can write we can write px equal to minus qy y dash or p by q equal to minus y y dash by x so this is one equation we got three now we we can further different different uh, sorry we we can we can call this equation to px plus qy equal to 0 plus 0 
let this be equation 3 and let this be equation 4 so d by dx on 3 we get we are not considering the two term since we, we cancel that out we get p into 1 plus q into y y double dash plus y dash square equal to 0 this can be written as p equal to minus q y y double dash plus y dash square or p by q equal to minus y y double dash plus y square from 4 we know that p by q is minus y y dash by x so using 4 in 5 we get just minus minus y y dash by x equal to minus y y double dash plus y dash square so this term is we can further simplify this as y y dash equal to x y y double dash plus x y dash square so th this can be simply so this is the required solution to the so the to the row question.